and I'm doing it for my daughter. What do they post on here? Oh, look at this. Wait, hold on. Oh. You don't watch the Tim thing? No, I don't want to watch it. I want to see what the caption is, though. I had fun office hours live showing clips like this. You can watch more here. What's the clip he shows? What the fuck are they even How many views about? does it have? 15K a year ago? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bitch ass. Yeah, that's not a lot of views, Timmy. Yeah. Tim. I saw the vid of him um, addressing the Andrew Callahan thing. Let's look that up. What was he doing? Throwing him under the bus? It, yeah, immediately. Saying yeah, he's so yeah, disappointed yeah. in him? Yeah, I know, Tim. I know. I'm sure you never did and never grabbed a girl's ass or said something creepy. Yeah, or Eric Wareheim fucking. Yeah, trying to fuck my yeah, friend's I, sister I, for I fucking I wish I years. got more info about the Eric, because when I was in college, a, a, a young girl from college said that Eric DM'd her. Yeah. He used to try to fuck my friend's sister who was yeah. fucking baggy. Trigger warning, there's tears. There might be tears. Um, Listen, I, I wanted to start the show um, today to just uh, acknowledge these... Uh, Andrew Callaghan allegations. Um, I've asked Doug and Vic to step out because what? I didn't want them sitting behind me, uh, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to look. But um, I also want to apologize for not speaking about this, uh, for any of us speaking about this. I think, um, you know, we, you know, it's been a very painful week for us and very, um, difficult experience to process it and we didn't want to just rush out and say something um, that felt insincere or um, you know kind of like um, oh, Jesus this is good God crisis Who gives person a fuck? told us what to say kind of thing that, that I don't think that's helpful um, and we just want to wrap our heads around it and talk about it and, and try to understand it more um, but of course, we're aware of the allegations. Um, we take them very seriously, and uh, it's just been very sad and and just you know disappointing to say the least. Um, Are you fucking sick? Is he gonna cry? Clarify a couple things. Oh, I thought um, he was gonna cry. We you know have no professional relationship with Andrew at this at this time, and and have no plans going forward to have um, any any. Um, relationship with him. Um, our role with him is we produced the film that a lot of you guys have uh, seen. Um, you know, there's been a little confusion about the Channel 5 name. That's Andrew's uh, name, Channel 5. It has nothing to do with Eric and I's um, Channel 5 name. That was a bit of confusion for, for us. As no, well. I think it was yours. But, um, <laughs> Now nah, that's Tim. I know he's lying, you know, and I, I feel terrible that this film now has these allegations tied to it because some very good people worked very hard on it. Um, but it's just a movie, and I want to say that we believe these women uh, that came forward, and and of course, totally condemn the type of behavior that Andrew's being accused of. Um, and I I believe that's up to Andrew to uh, address these allegations and do so openly and honestly and I I really um, I really hope he does you know do that as soon as possible um, and that's really all I have to say about it uh, right now um, I'm not wow. gonna be we're not gonna talk about it during the show that's why we didn't start with the opening that's why uh, Vic and Doug aren't here we're gonna try to as Vic says put this uh, put these negative thoughts and acknowledge them and and try to uh, try to have fun and and you know <laughs> know that this is something that Andrew has to has to has to address. Um, I just also finally want to say, um, you know, I have a daughter, and as I read about this stuff and learn about this stuff, it's the last thing in the world that I'd want to uh, have happen is is. This is so, you know, what's been, what's been talked about. For Ali, Andrew Kelly to text my daughter. And I have a, a son and <laughs> I think he tried to I shove your ex-wife's head. Sure in the <laughs> as we raise him, my wife and I raise him that we raise him to understand. Yo, when you click like, respect, helps me help my uh, daughter. And grow up to be a good and honorable person. And, 
finally, I just wish, you know, peace and love for everybody involved. It's a terrible situation, uh, but it's, it's happening, you know, in real time, and we're trying to process it like everybody else is. So that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for listening and understanding where we're at. I know I'm a bit emotional about it because it's just been very uh, difficult. And, uh, Bro. But I'm going to shake it off, and we're going to start the show. What do the comments say? Didn't what did Al, uh, what, going what he what he did? Hold on he a he, he, he talked girls into having sex with him. Being so genuine, and all these girls fucked him after like him like come on come on let me come on so like he just, he just begged the girls for sex. He begged the girls for yeah, sex like six times, like, same thing over and over again. He had a shtick, <laughs> and he would just do it over and over again. Like come on, can you give me a ride? I just want. Yeah. And then, like so, then I ended up giving him. And it's like, just give me a fucking break. I like Andrew Callahan. <laughs> I think he's cool. You want to come? Where I got a job for you, dude. He, he, I got a bo job for you. <laughs> you. But here's the thing: make sure you take Channel Five News over here with you. I'll give you fifty thousand for that. <laughs> I want you and Tim Heidecker's company, Channel Five News. He's. Uh, I think Andrew's. He's like. Uh, he he did an apology video, and he's kind of like. Seems to be like. Not in the clear, but people are kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll find a way to weasel his way into uh, back into the, the limelight. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Tim Heidecker is such a fucking wimp. Dude. What else we got for links? Hold on. Let's get, look, what do you feel about this, Tim? How do you feel about that, Sammy? What about Tim? Yeah. I just, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I know, I know that he was, um, he was like brutally stabbed. Yeah, I remember that, and that's what I'm trying to. Like, what makes you? Th what makes you think these thoughts? Well, why does it? He, what like, turns why, you into this type of person? Why is he like giving an HR general manager speech? Just estrogen. I know, but like, why? Like, why would you think it's a problem? Like, just, just shut the fuck up and don't say anything. Well, I think he he works with. Um, does Tim still do production on these Adult Swim shows? Oh, I'm sure they're still throwing him. You know, he's still I think four hundred thousand to steal. Yeah, I think he's. I think he still runs these. Um, Productions like he's very much tied in with the this, absolutely is is producing things. Yeah, this eco ecosystem of of lesbians and um, William Street, wh yeah. whiny gay people. Yeah, cool music guys that gatekeep yeah. at parties. Mm. Dude, you don't even know what the original dude. Come on, I like Tim Heidecker. He's a fucking Eagles historian. Like, bro, <laughs> suck my dick. fucking Don McLean knower. What Eagles the band? Yeah, like they know, like they're like those old music guys that used to be like, dude, you don't even know the fucking reels, like like your biggest nightmare about Fred Armisen, mm -hmm. where like someone like a record store, like he's kind of like comic book nerd with music, mm -hmm. where he's gonna give you like a tongue lashing, and he's like he's the cultural, but he's just a fucking. Dick. Mm. Have you heard T Tim's music that he like the yeah, that he sucks? Made? <laughs> it's really bad. It sounds like Beach Boys adjacent. It fucking blows. It has no edge and it blows. How come DJ Doug Pound's so cool though? What's wrong with DJ? What's wrong with Remember DJ? when you and DJ Doug Pond were talking a couple weeks ago, and it was like, "Man, these guys are never gonna realize." Remember when you yeah. guys both said yeah, that? Yeah. I'm, I'm, he's I'm a, like, he's a real one. Doug. I'm I like, know Doug's cool. I'm like, you're yeah. like, he does the, brah, brah, brah. he does like the pad yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm like yeah, Doug yeah. Pound now. I think Doug, no. I think Doug <laughs> Pound's just <laughs> long for the ride. He's happy with his. He's good with it. Fifteen thousand a month that Tim's letting him cutting him off at the yeah. top of the chop of the block. Yeah. Do they have a Patreon? How much money do they make? How much money does office hours make? It's just such a smug. Even like when you got when you, uh, when you called this fucking thing, he was such a smug piece of shit about it. Mm -hmm. I it's it's a very hateable thing. Even though I'm not, you know, I'm, even though I'm only moderately connected to twenty six thousand a month. They make twenty six per month. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> fucking sad. I'm glad. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I thought it. Would be, I thought Fuck it would be out of here. Fucking. Yeah. What's the number one right now? <clears throat> a little ass. I hope he just keeps getting beers dumped on him. And he's like, I just don't, I'm just not, I don't know. I just, what, what am I missing? And then like women are just dumping full beers on his head. <laughs> like Brutus's from Applebee's, like on his uh, whole head, like the big <laughs> fucking beer mugs. Where it, it, they're just pouring beers on like his lap. <laughs> uh, Chapo Trap House makes a buck 60. Man. I don't even know what that is. What is Chapo what Trap House? Dang. Oh man, so Gee. we're pretty, we're pretty popular. Yeah. I didn't know we were like popular. Tim Dillon really? shows up this there. Is from, uh, this is from twenty. This is from one year ago, but still, that's pretty. Damn. That's pretty relevant. We got to double our audience somehow. It doesn't look like it's possible according to those numbers. No, it's not. 
Oh, did, um, but the number two, uh, the super chat thing, that was pretty crazy. The super chat thing was crazy. What does that mean? We're, I think we're, I think we're big. I think we're bigger than we. Yeah, we're probably being suppressed. I would never know. You know. That's very true because my Instagram followers have been at like 149k for months and months and months. And we've yeah, been it's... spending on advertising and we've been doing funny stuff too on Instagram. Like that number should be going up. Do you ever see how like you'll turn your phone on and then it'll like allow 30 new followers? Mm -hmm. You ever see that happening? Mm -hmm. Like it'll be like nothing, nothing, nothing all day, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it's like 50. Mm -hmm. It'll like drop them on me, and I'm like, huh, okay. Yeah, that's that's a, that's like a hold. Mm -hmm. Your uh, Instagram bio is still do not subscribe. Oh yeah, and I I think that's funny. Yeah, but I don't know if that's like uh, deterring people from following. Will you make a note to change that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just just like typical um. Like, like people distancing themselves. Like, that's just so fucking mm. Like, people need to shut the fuck up. Well, if, they, if you know, depending on where your money's coming from, you 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 might have to do that. What, what you're 26000 a month? No, his... Oh, his big adult, checks? The, the Adult Swim production money. What, to produce that fucking failed-ass HBO show that sucked? Mm -hmm. With Tra Travis Kelsey? You fucking almost embarrassed and ruined that kid's career? Mm-hmm. That unfunny piece of shit that should have been funny with John C. Riley. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you miss with John C. Riley. Mm. I feel like I can make a fucking total fucking cornflakes commercial with John C. Riley. You have to be a real asshole to mess with John C. Riley. Yeah. Instead, you're probably like this. Do you know the Eagles' second album was written in B minor? <laughs> Fuck, shut up. I hope you get stabbed again. Hey, Tim Heidecker lives in fucking uh, somewhere else. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You know what I heard he likes? I heard he likes to get stabbed. <laughs> Just in the fucking this time so you can see it coming fucking pussy <laughs> so sick of that shit fucking eric, even eric wareheim is you know he's he's fucking he's smart he got away from him eric wareheim is fine he's, he's fine just a fucking he's, he's, right. that? he's a fucking he likes pussy he's a creep yeah fine i can take that it's all good it's when you're smug and you're like you know what happened yeah i would like to see like tim heidecker on a date with like some snl reject that's like well he seems like a good guy oh he's Guys, so what is this? <laughs> this is a band. No, this is a yes. podcast. This is a, a what, hard left podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn, these guys aren't these. They're they're, they're actually what, funny though. They're whatever. They, they kind of so they'll say stuff that's like kind of funny. I think. Aren't they? Don't they watch ND? I don't know. I don't I, think they hate us. It's not. It's they not. It's not even. Cares. But it's not our world though. It doesn't even matter. Like if you the the this this type of leftism. If you assume the same base assumptions that they do, the logic holds up. It's not like it's like when I hang out with people in New York that are like total yes, like Biden friends, but yes. we're drinking and having a good time yes. together. Yes, and they're like, "Do you really think that?" I'm like, "A little bit, mm. a little bit." <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you speak fluent Spanish? No, I do. Weird one, huh? Rogue, rogue piece, <laughs> rogue piece of information. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> but no, no, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Control the world. I know, I know, I know. It's so fucking funny to me, man. Mm. But like, like I, I know you'd be able to have, a, you'd be able to have a coffee with these guys. And, probably, and yeah, hang you'd, probably you'd probably be fine. You'd have fun. You'd have fun. Yeah. Blows my mind. They drink, come over to my house, enjoy my time, and then probably fucking do some wormy shit behind my back, try to fuck my wife or something. Steal your, steal your uh, antiques. Steal my antiques. So I'll just be like, he you doesn't need it. He's got steal something nice and small but nice. Yes, I think it's brass. It's pretty nice. 